Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve part third and part second of question number third of exercise thirteen point two. Again, Rahman is making a wheel using spokes. He wants to fix equal spokes in such a way that the angle between any pair of consecutive spokes are equal. So in the first case, we have to calculate the angle between a pair of consecutive spoke spokes on a wheel with fifteen spokes. So I have already I have already discussed in the previous videos that if the number of sp spokes are four, so obviously there will be four angle between these spokes, and all angles will be equal. It is given to you in the question. So if these angles are considered as x, so clearly there will be four angles each of degrees x value. So this will be four x. And clearly, this is should be equal to 360 degrees. So the value of angle must be equal to 360 degree upon 4. By this, we can form a uh, we can make a formula. If you want to find the angle, the value of angle, what you have to do is you have to divide 360 by n, where n is the number of spokes. So now here. We have to find the angle between a pair of consecutive spokes on a wheel with 15 spokes. So here, you have to find the angle. We know that to find angle, we have to divide 360 by the number of spokes, which are 15. So this can be cancelled. 15 two times 30, and 15 four times 60. So this the angle should be here 24 degrees. In the second part. You have to find how many spokes would be needed if the angle between the pair of consecutive spoke is 40 degrees. So, in the second part, here you have to find the number of spokes when angle is given to you. So, if I shift this value here and this value here, the new formula will be the number of spokes will be 360 degree upon the angle. Clearly, to find the number of Spokes. We have to divide 360 by one angle, which is equals to 40 degree. I can cancel this, and here the number of spokes must be nine. So this is how you can solve this question also. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem regarding maths, you can email us, and you can even call us. The number and the email address is given in the description. Thank you